Good morning. Here I am at Washington National Airport getting ready to fly back to Puerto Rico. Thank God. I just spent a month in Washington, D.C., which in advance I looked up the temperature and it should have been in the 40s, but instead we experienced extremely cold temperatures and a lot of snow. And so we're, even though we had a great time in D.C., and I'm sure you've enjoyed those videos, we're very happy to be headed back to the land of sun and surf. Hasta luego. So we're at Reagan, flying on Southwest. Have a layover in uh, Orlando, but uh, we'll get to Puerto Rico later tonight. Here is the little Southwest gate area here. Like some Air Canada over here too, but. Uh, And I want to fly that, I don't know if you can see it, I want to fly that southwest plane right there. That's a beaut. I want to fly that one. All right, Lisa found us a seat. We should be boarding pretty soon. We're in, uh, we've got the A, A today. All right. And of course, Kaylee's coming along with us. There she is. Trying little, to escape. A little drugged up, but maybe not Hello. drugged up enough. Trying to escape. Lining up. Ready to get on. We're pretty lucky today. We have A47, A48. We're going to get some nice seats. Ooh, we got our primo seats here. We we're told yep. that it wasn't uh, not full. Maybe we'll get all three of these for the two of us and the cat. to the Orlando airport. Excellent. Time to find the lounge. And two hours. Uh, here is the here's the beautiful food court area here at Orlando. Big, wide, open, airy. Uh, super nice. Well we don't usually do this, but uh, since we're going to Puerto Rico, we're going to uh, start at the bar. Uh, great view here. Gonna sit here. We have about two hours before our next flight. So we're gonna hang here for a little bit. Got a nice view. Pretty uh, not too crowded. And uh, cats, Kelly's getting taken care of here, getting some water, getting some food. She'll just ignore it. But uh, at least Lisa will feel good about uh, trying to do something for her. Well, we're not in Puerto Rico yet, but uh, we got to start out with some something uh, with rum in it. And this is the uh, the rum runner here. It's a bum runner. A bum runner. Here Thanks. in Orlando International Airport. It's called the Cask and Larder. We have two hours here. Found a nice windowsill for the cat. You sure it's not called the Cat and Larder? <laughs> it should be the Cat and Larder. Cask and Larder. Yep, perfect. Well, it's not really of the active runway, but... Uh, 
makes you think that uh, at least you're at the airport. I just saw a plane come in, actually. Oh, oh, over maybe there. it's over there. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I look in this direction, and I might course, see something. Look at, look at the wing on that. It's a great blue heron on the wing. Oh, yeah, on the, uh, the frontier. That's pretty cool. Yep. Oh, you got a little coyote over here. And we have a happy little kitty down here. There she is. She actually ate. She's eating and drinking. And uh, here's our plane. Should be taking off here in less than 30 minutes. Haven't quite boarded yet. A's, 1 through 30 at this time. Sam one. Hello. Hi there. Good, thank you. It's not one of those grades, I already have. Well, it's 8 o'clock and uh, lots of things are closed down here. Welcome to San Juan. Well, it's good to be here. <laughs> the kitty says hello. <laughs> it's riding high. Comfy with her up here. They're all suited up and waiting for us. Check us in here in San Juan Airport. All right, we successfully got our luggage pretty quickly, actually. Even though we were like one of the last people off the plane, last people through here, but we're all set. Now we go run the gauntlet. QR code ID. Go by the QR code ID on hand. Welcome. Scroll the guy at the end. Our room, executive suite, supposedly mm-hmm. king size bed. Not as nice as our, not as nice, not as nice as our last time we were here, but uh, very yep, here's our room. Supposedly, they upgraded us from a king to an executive suite. Not quite as nice as the last time we were here. They didn't actually tell us they gave us an upgrade last time, but uh, this is still really, really nice for a one night stay in off of our Marriott Bonvoy points. So it costs this, so it costs us nothing. So this is part of the main drag in Condado, Avenida Ashford. This is our, our hotel, the AC uh, Hotel uh, Marriott. Just AC. a AC, yes, yeah. It has, uh, has the AC in our room is nice and cool. And um, you know, lots of shops, lots of restaurants here. You know, you see all of the, you know, all of the apartments and hotels here. And um, I will show you, here's the Marriott up here. There's another Marriott up here. Uh, we'd, we'd like the AC hotel here. 
with our points and uh, I'll show you the beach in Condado a little later today after breakfast. It's a very, uh, very touristy area, a very, uh, I say rich, is that a word? I would say it's an upscale area. Yeah. A lot of professionals live here. Yep. Um, a lot of expats choose to live here because it's very safe. Yes, absolutely. But you also pay for it. The real estate's very expensive for small places like in New York City because it's all near the beach and um, the, many of the restaurants are on the pricey side, but not all. And it's, it's very safe and pretty. Yeah, they're still celebrating Three Kings Day here, at least this, at least this house. Ropa Vieja Grill, Choco Bar. Dead when we arrived. It was different alive. Oh, you mean uh, last night? No, last time. Last time, yeah. I'm sorry. No problem. Yeah. That building needs a little work. But you can see some of the buildings around here. Some have been older, some are newer. Going down to the ocean. Now this is the uh, Condado Beach. Again, right next to the tourist area uh, in San Juan. Very, uh, very elegant. Many, many, many tourists come here. Uh, the thing you have to be careful of is this is on the north side of the island, on the Atlantic side. And uh, the current here you know, can be uh, very rough. Uh, we, just, we just saw her get swept off her feet. You know, interesting story here. It was about uh, about 10 years ago, came here with my kids, you know, my, uh, I don't know, my fourth or fifth grader and I were standing here about knee deep, and a big wave came and uh, knocked us both off of our feet. You know, I lost my sunglasses, and uh, the only thing I saw of my kid was a one knee sticking up, which I, which I grabbed. So, uh, do have to be, do have to be careful here, because uh, it is, can be pretty rough because there is a, a riptide warning here all across the northern part of Puerto Rico today. Um, okay, let's see the winter months and that's a, that's a common common occurrence. So this is not particularly a swimming beach this time of the year particularly for small kids or, or adults but uh, again you know the Condado Beach access to many of the hotels and they're certainly certainly very very beautiful so you can see you can see it's well maintained hotels have an interest in, in uh, keeping it well maintained not as wild as some of the ones we saw a month ago where in the where in the low winter season they're uh, they're not as maintained, but in the higher tour season, they'll come in, they'll clean up all the seaweed and, and make them look pristine, which is why Flamenco you know, gets, uh, gets its reputation as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, and it is. But Condado Beach, easy access to the airport. Probably took us 10 minutes here in, a, in an Uber last night. Um, and, uh, That's it. We'll go see. Lisa's got her feet in the water down here. Wades in up to her knees and she's asking for one of those rogue waves to come and get her. Here's the beach area for our hotel, the AC Hotel. And there's Lisa chilling out. We're only here for about 45 minutes before we pack up our stuff and uh, head west to Cabo Rojo where we're going to be for the next month. But we had to get in a little beach time. Not gonna get any beach time in Cabo Rojo today, but uh, probably tomorrow.